Defense and Space News TV report. Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMC is an Indian program of a fifth generation fighter aircraft. It is being developed by an aerospace industry team which consists of Aeronautical Development Agency as a design firm and to be manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL. It is a single-seat, twin-engine, stealth supermaneuverable all-weather multi-role fighter aircraft. Unofficial design work on the AMC started in 2008 with official work started in 2011 and completed in 2014. In 2008 Indian Navy joined the program for the naval variant optimized for the aircraft carrier's operation. The first flight is scheduled to occur in 2023 to 2024. It is a multi-role combat aircraft designed for the air superiority, ground attack, bombing, intercepting, strike and other types of roles. Several people have doubts on AMC that it would be successful program or not. However, there are many reasons why AMC wouldn't suffer as much as Tejas did. So question comes that how much AMC is Indian? Coming to airframe, it is unofficially reported that LT will make airframe components. The same company which is going to make for LCA. Then it comes to controls which will be made by AID, which is a subsidiary of DRDO. Then comes Avionics, which will be made by DRDO's subsidiary KFT, which would be indigenously designed and developed. It would feature Indian navigation system Navic. The MOG actuators will be replaced by indigenously developed actuators manufactured at Hal Nagpur assisted by Mta Hyderabad and Gaudraj Mumbai. The actuators are developed by Vikram Sarab High Space Center, ISRO and the IPR will be transferred to the consortium, Hal, Mta, Gaudraj. The fly-by-wire system in Tejas is developed by Bharat Electronics Limited. Then it comes to cockpit elements. Cockpit of AMC is designed there which is the subsidiary of DRDO and will be manufactured by Indian company Samtl which is the same industry which manufactures avionics for Su-13 kit. AMC will also feature India 100% designed and developed Acer radar made with GAN gallium nitride. Its head-up display as well as head-up mounted display will be indigenously made by CSIO which is subsidiary of Indian PSU CSIR, the same PSU which manufactures India's supercomputer. The electronic warfare suite is indigenously developed by DARE and DLRL which are subsidiary of DRDO. The infrared-based systems like IRST, missile warning systems, laser warning system also added internally in the AMCA. The IRST sensors are placed in all sides of the AMCA to provide full angle coverage like in Rafale and F-35. The proposed IRST system is work similar to the F-35's EOTS who shares the informations to friendly units like via the satellite and highly secure data links. AMC also comes with self-protection jammer system to jam enemy radar guided missiles from both air and ground. Electronic countermeasure systems to confuse the infrared guided missiles and a radar warning receiver too added to detect enemy radar frequencies most important part is engine and armaments. Although configuration of armaments are unclear, most probability it will carry Indian weapons. Or foreign weapons which are made in India. The part of the engine is still unclear. There is currently two options available. K9 Plus and K10 engine. K9 Plus engine is designed and developed in India. Which would be successor of Kavari. Second offer of K-10 engine is that the engine will be made by joint venture with any foreign country. Most probably it's US company General Electrics who is chosen. Dodge promised the RDO for full access to its core technology and also offered to give TOT for engine for local manufacturing in India. 
but since K9 Plus will take another decade to operation after so much R&D, it's likely to be on K10. There will be total two technology demonstrators and four prototypes which will have its first flight in January 2020. And if everything goes as planned, it will start to induct into Indian Air Force from 2023-24. But naval version might take some time. Many more 3-4 years. Now question comes that what will be not made in India? There are reports that the RDO will consider another option of cockpit display which would be a JV between HAL and Elbit of Israel. If it's chosen then it wouldn't be totally made in India. Then the cockpit speech recognition system will be made by Adacel which is the same company which makes same type of system for F-35. As you can see, AMC is a big game changer for India cause it will ramp up India's defense industries to a new technological high point. Tejas was a tough call but that call will bear sweet fruits for India's aerospace industry. It's reported the AMC will be ready by early 2020 or before and how starts flying the first flight of fully developed AMC by 2021 with the initial low rate initial production by 2024. And the Air Force gets the first AMC squad by 2025. If all things goes per schedule, do subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.